we thought we'd grab three Levos in three different sizes and basically figure out which one of those sizes is best for us. Oh, massive moment. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, I'm catching him up. Come on. I'll start off on something smaller. I'll go S3, which on paper, if you look at the specialized website, is probably too small for me, but then I'm right at the upper end of S3. So it'd be quite interesting for me because I know this track very well on this bike. So let's see how it goes on this. I'm on the S3, Mickey's on the S4. Yeah, S4. Let's, let's go. Yeah. And this is actually different for me because I'm normally on the S4. So being on the S3 is gonna be quite interesting. Okay, we're going. Okay, we're going fast. Oh, we're already going fast. Whoa. Okay. Feels pretty good, actually. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that track is well good. That's a quality track. This doesn't feel wrong. Would be my first, my first um, thoughts. I think, ideally, I am between an S3 and an S4, but but let's see. Yeah, I think, I mean, you have a go when you get on it, but in those tighter corners, there's that right hander in the middle. Yeah. I think it felt better. Something a bit more playful. Yeah, it? it was just less stable than the first two. Yeah, okay. Because it's just shorter wheelbase, I think. A bit jumpy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, these gears. So this bike's actually a demo bike that we borrowed from Specialized. And I think it's seen some things. <laughs> S3 feels pretty good which makes me actually more confused let's swap bikes and then I'll it's a good comparison then it's actually quite interesting well it feels a lot bigger the brakes brakes are bad Doesn't it feel tiny when you sat on it? It literally feels like something like this. Oh, I don't like it. The seat tube angle on the S3 yeah. is steeper slightly than the than these two, the S5 and the S5. Right, okay. So I think when you sat down, it feels even smaller. Yeah, I do feel like I'm... But to you, at 6'1", oh. that's going to feel... That's tight. Really small. But yeah, let's... It's going to be terrible. Let's see, the, gears, the gears slip, by the way. Oh mate, I was so close to you then, that corner. I got covered in loam. Okay, what are your thoughts so, though, S3, uh, initially? Really playful actually. Yeah, it feels a bit more nimble, right? Yeah, especially in the tighter corners, it felt much better. Yeah. But I definitely don't feel as stable on this as that S4. This felt way more calm. Like your bike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it, so. Come on then, initial thoughts. Uh, after two runs, <laughs> S3 is not the one for me. I think you're a bit big. It's, uh, it feels really good in the, in the tight corners at the bottom. It's quite, you can really flick it around and it yeah. feels good. But yeah, certainly like this, this top bit where it's a bit more, a bit more open. It's, uh, you definitely notice the smaller bike underneath you. I just felt the front sort of tucking almost. Yeah. I, I guess because I'm more over it, I, I don't know, but this yeah. definitely felt more more stable, yeah. for sure. But I yeah. think do some more laps 
and then swap. I'm gonna jump on that one now. I think. You're gonna go on that now? Yeah. Okay. I... Then you're gonna die on. Not that. on one. <laughs> it feels horrible. Yeah, I mean, it feels big, but then I guess it's because it's taller. But I feel a bit more like that now. So it doesn't look massive on me. I wouldn't say it looks wrong. You reckon? Whereas I think, for me personally, I think the S4 is a little bit too big. For yourself? For myself. Compared to like Santa Cruz sizing, which is a li like their medium slash large, their S4, I guess, is, sli is slightly smaller. I don't know. You almost want that with like a reach cup in it, so you can. Yeah, or this with a reach cup. Or make it short. Or both. Just buy both. <laughs> buy both bikes, and then you don't have to there choose a size, do you? You can both bikes. Buy one, get one half for us. Should we do some more? Yeah, go on. I'll follow you. You sure? Yeah, because this is weird. Right, so Mickey's on the S5 now. I'm quite interested to try that one. Oh, we're in. Oh, we're going fast now. Whoa! Massive moment. Oh my god. Okay, I was getting a bit excited then. Maybe I'll chill a bit. When you go wrong on that track, you realise how fast it is. Yeah. <laughs> it has got a much bigger wheelbase. So the S3 and the S4 have got the same chainstay length. Right. The S5 actually has a bigger one. So the front centre ratio of the bike so for those watching at home, how much bike there is in front of the bottom bracket axle and how much bike there is behind the bottom bracket axle. That magic ratio is, is kept consistent with the S5. It felt bad. Go on, I'll follow you in. I'm really surprised that. Oh. Fast as you can. <laughs> oh, that's getting really good. A few moments there. <laughs> so Mickey's actually said he's pretty comfortable on the S5. I quite like this, I'm really surprised. Maybe a, a different setup here, but the actual size feels pretty good very very stable but let me jump on the s5 i'll have some laps on that and then let's try not to die <laughs> let's go i'll jump back on that one i think yeah cool oh, oh yeah we should do that on that um on that climb <laughs> 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 Okay, well, the S5 is lively. I ran out of climb skill. It feels pretty big, but let's see what it's like. Whoa, it's different. Oh, it's very different. Okay. Oh, it feels actually pretty good. Very different. It's, um, it's so much calmer. Like I don't feel as out of control as I normally do feel. Oh, I'm catching him up. Come on. Oh, the S5. The S5 is giving me speed. I think the track might be uh, past its best. So that's that's the first test done, which was Lime Corners. I'm almost more confused than when I started. Oh, I'm between these two now, I think. <laughs> like S3 for me is, is, is a no, but that, that, that should be pretty obvious. But I'm really surprised at how the S5 felt. I think that would maybe a, a nicer bar and stem setup would be would be really good and I think I'd be quite happy with that. I think all of them had their merits. <laughs> um, S3 felt 
more whippy, nicer, sort of lighter feel. But in these first fast corners, it was pushing the front and it just didn't feel that stable. The S5 felt hyper stable in these corners to the point where I felt like I wasn't going fast enough. So I couldn't go any faster though. Whereas the S4 gave me that little bit of excitement that I got from the S3, but for me, it had the stability of the S5. But <laughs> let's go and test them on some jumps. I'd like to do a jump, get them in the air, because I've got a feeling the S3 is going to feel really good. That's good, it'll play. Do you know what? That's the saddle all the way up on the S5. Yeah, it does not feel too big at all. Hmm. Maybe I do need an S5. Uphill jump. Way. <laughs> I think I bottomed out. Uphill. Come on. So we're on the S3. Done a couple of runs of the jump track thing but I'm not feeling awesome on it but let's see what the S3 feels like on a little jump okay so that's super tricky that bit around this weird corner and then oh, oh. <laughs> that feels really good okay <laughs> I knew it I knew it would feel better So to me, that did feel better. When you're sort of extending your arms over a jump, you're not, you're not as stretched out as you would be on a bigger, longer bike. So you just get a bit more feel for the takeoff. Go on then. How was that? Um, I really like it. It looks really good on you. Oh like yeah. looks really good. Looks better than this. Yeah. Like that still seems to me like a little bit big for you. A little bit too big. This looked like you were sat with the bike and you were telling the bike what to do. You know one thing I'm realising with these bikes? Go on. You need to have a decent set of brakes. Yes, these are incredible aren't they? Good point. These are well good. <laughs> How was that? Weird. Really good. Isn't it good? Uh. <laughs> it's a bit dark. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> oh. We've ridden quite a lot of stuff now on all three bikes. I guess my conclusion is that the small, medium, large sizes that most manufacturers have are quite black and white, whereas I think the S sizes are a little bit more nuanced than that. It's not necessarily that an S3 is a medium or an S4 is a large. It's, it's more that they perform differently in different areas. I think I've come to the conclusion that I'll be better on an S3. <laughs> this does actually feel better to me. Um, maybe not as stable, but I think around here and around the tracks that we ride here, for me, this just feels more playful, a bit more fun, and in the air it just feels a little bit more controllable. I think for me, the, definitely a no on the S3. I really like the S4. I think it's perfect, but for some reason I quite like the feel of the slightly bigger bike with the S5. It just felt very stable, um, comforting. Comforting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like a nice like armchair on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. It's great. Cool. Okay. Well, hopefully that's helped. <laughs> um, <laughs> it certainly changed things in my mind about what size bike I should be on or could be on. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. We'll try and answer them in a later video. But for now, that's Levo sizing. Thank you very much.
Yeah. 